Alright, uh, the next emulator I wanted to show you guys is DS emulator. This one is not as... I guess it, it's, it's simple and it's not simple. I'm gonna show you just, like, what it looks like first, and then I'll show you, like, how to, uh, activate it. Actually, never mind, I lied, I lied, I lied. What we're gonna do is go to your browser, and we're gonna... I'm gonna drop a link to this, but what we're gonna wanna do is when you open this on your device, we're gonna click this and we're gonna add it to a uh, homepage. So like so, add, it pops right there. I'm not gonna use that one because I already actually have it. Uh, delete bookmark. Uh, but once you have it, place it wherever you like. This is what it's gonna greet you with. Uh, you could read it, just get a glimpse of whatever it details of. But anyways, to get into the game, what we're gonna do is choose file. Now I've created a separate folder for all my DS games. So I would recommend doing the same. Like once you have all your games, you know what I mean? I would make a folder just easier to access everything. So there it is. Um, what should, let's like do Pokemon. No, yeah, Pokemon. Um, that's really it. And it starts up. This game also has auto saving and saving. Don't worry about it. Like I could actually show you might take a second but um get to a save point you could save the game and uh you'll be fine um you could also drop it tilt it um i don't like the way it looks it's not like looking the best but you can do that i think it's probably best just to play like this you do have the bottom as a touch screen top half as like the gameplay and whatnot But like I said, it's pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy, very simple. As long as you own your games, you know, like you're good to go. Um, trust the site, it's, like I said, straightforward. I don't think I missed anything, but if I did, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, there's also this, I actually almost forgot, if you click the M, it kind of shows you like uh, some extra settings for you. Like mute sound, 30 FPS limit, virtual gamepad, circle pad. You could actually change this if you want like a D-pad. Landscape, uh, firmware, close the lid, and back. Um, but yeah, if you didn't like like the joy pad, you could just use that. Um, that's really it. Uh, let me know if I did forget anything. If you need help with anything, it's probably just to just join my Discord. Um... And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.